in the previous tutorials we have learned some of the basic concepts of AutoCAD and we have solved some basic exercises also link to complete playlist is given in the description now in this tutorial we will be creating developed plan using this line plan of residential building and in the coming lectures we will also creating sectional elevation AA which is indicated by this line and we will also creating elevation now let's start to create develop plan we will just zoom it now this plan is in millimeter therefore we will be using ISO template click here scroll down and select ACAD ISO then give the units command UN enter so we will be using for decimal point precision then length type is decimal angle is in decimal degrees and for angle precision is 0 and insertion scale will be millimeter click on ok now in this line plan these are the clear internal openings so we will have to develop walls around it at first we will create a reference lines now here first dimension is the length in x direction and second dimension is length in y direction total vertical length will be 3700 plus this 4000 that is 7700 and there are three walls we will be considering the wall of 300 mm size so total of the wall width will be 900 and this is 7700 that means total length of this line will be 8600 so we will create one vertical line of 8600 click on line your first point take your cursor above as we will be creating straight line therefore we will make this ortho mode on so that lines will be straight then give the length of 8600 enter enter then horizontal length will be 3000 plus 3700 plus 900 that means it will be 7600 again click on line give the first point take it away give the length of 7600 enter enter then see the complete lines give zoom all command give z enter a enter and zoom minus so it will show complete lines then to shift this UCS icon to the left side type UCS icon enter and select no region then to create a wall of thickness 300 mm click on offset then we will be creating variable length offset therefore click on through then select the object give the distance of 300 enter again select this object take the cursor above and give the distance of 300 enter then this room size is 3000 by 3700 so horizontal length is 3000 vertical is 3700 click on this line take cursor on this side give the distance of 3000 enter then again select this line take it away give the wall thickness of 300 enter then select this internal line take it away give the distance of 3700 enter Again select this line, take it above, give the distance of 300, enter. Then pan it below. This height will be 4000. Again select this line, take it above. Type 4000, enter. Again select it, take it above, 300, enter. Then this length will be. 3700 again select this line take it away 3700 enter again select this line take it away 
the wall thickness of 300 enter then escape then remove the unwanted portion for that we will use trim command click on trim and press enter then click inside this box and take your cursor below and click again same way on this side same way here then this internal points pan it remove these lines also then remove these also and enter ok these two has remained again you trim enter and remove it enter now these two rooms are created if you want to check whether these room sizes are correct click your cursor on utilities and click on this quick option measure quick and take your cursor inside so here the size is 3000 by 4000 that is 3000 by 4000 3000 by 3700 and here it is width is 3700 and if you are using older version then you will have to measure it manually by clicking on this arrow and by selecting this distance option and clicking the two points so in this way you will have to check it this escape then zoom here now we will create this wc of 1200 by 1000 size click on offset again click on through select this line take it below give the distance of 1000 enter then click on this line take cursor below give the distance of 150 enter again click on this line take it on this side give the distance of 1200 enter select this line take on this side give the distance of 150 enter then bath of 2150 and 1200 click on this line take your cursor below give the distance of 1200 enter select this line take it below give the distance of 300 enter again select this line take on this side 2150 enter again select this line take on this side 150 enter and enter and remove the unwanted portion for that again click on trim press enter then click on the object you want to remove press enter then we will have to erase this line for that type E enter select this line enter So this side is also created. Then kitchen height is 4000. Then click on offset. Then click on through. Select this line. Take it below. Give the distance of 4000. Enter. And again select this line. Take it below. Give the distance of 300. Enter. Then press enter. Then we need to extend these lines up to these lines. Click on this arrow near the trim and click on extend. Then press enter and click on these lines. Uh, then we want to extend it on this side also. Then to trim this portion, if you want to use extend as a trim, you will have to press shift and then click on the object you want to remove and press enter and erase this portion click on erase select this object and enter so this overall layout is created 
then we need to give door openings at first we will create this main entry door we will assume the size of this door as 1 meter to create door opening of 1 meter at first we will extend these lines and then we will trim it click on extend press enter and click on this line and this line then press shift and remove this portion then press enter then we need to create location for 1 meter click on offset give distance of 1000 enter and select this line take your cursor below and click and press enter then to remove these unwanted lines click on trim press enter and click on the objects to be removed and press enter so this opening for main door has been created and next will be opening for entering the kitchen we will be using internal doors of size 900 mm we will offset these lines click on offset give the distance of 900 enter select this line take it above click select this line take it below and click then again enter then trim you can also give trim command by typing tr enter again enter you can also use this fence option for multiple object selection enter again fence enter so this both doors has been created one for entry into the kitchen and other for entry into bedroom then we will give one more door for going outside from this side that we will again place of 900 sides again click on offset 900 distance is already there press enter select this line click on this side enter then again click on extend press enter and click on these lines then press shift to remove this portion press enter the back side door is created then for bath and wc we will provide doors of 700 size i can click on offset give the distance of 700 enter click here click below click on this line take your cursor on this side and click and press enter then we will extend this line click on extend press enter and click on this line again we will extend this line also then press shift and remove unwanted portion I release shift press shift and click to trim press enter here trim is required give trim press enter and remove these lines and double click middle mouse button for zoom extent so here wall layout is created in the next tutorial we will create windows and doors and we will also learn next set of basic commands so thanks for watching, we will stop here.